In this great future, you can't forget your past. That's a quote from songwriter John Lennon, who most historians believe was probably some sort of actor. In the spirit of remembering where we come from, here's a skateboarding film from 1976. Skateboarding is as progressive as the times we live in. Why, even women are allowed to participate. As long as they remain with two male guardians at all times and are indoors before their 7.30 curfew, there's no reason the boys should have all the fun. There's a whole bunch of cool skateboarding tricks out there that are as enjoyable as this Tic Tac that I'm eating right now while this young man turns from side to side. Skateboarding has reached such a high level of complexity that the tricks being done today might never be surpassed in the future. Let's take a closer look at some. There's the carpet licker. The 540 aerial or McTwist. The abduction, the kickflip backside lip slide, the sham air, post traumatic stress disorder, Munchausen syndrome, Parkinson's disease, AIDS. Skateboarding wheel specialist Neil Hardaway revolutionized the industry by creating urethane a new compound which formed when he accidentally mixed polyethylene with a batch of his own urine. Skateboarding attracts all kinds of interesting characters, like this young beachgoer, who has figured out a way to ride his skateboard on the ocean. After removing the skates from his board, he now rides the wave as if it's a giant liquid quarter pipe. Beverly Hills is home to the California condor, the largest bird in North America. Skateboarders know better than anyone else that a big bird needs an even bigger bird bath. Like this one, which is perfect for riding in the summer months when the giant bird drinks it dry. So whether you're 12 years old, 12 at heart, or just like wearing shirts with the number 12 on them, skateboarding is for you. So have fun with it. And remember, you are playing a deadly game that could kill you at any moment. Okay, okay. Kill back. Oh, no, no, my spaceship. Okay, that narrator's a f***ing idiot. I was already dead in 1976. Can we please watch something that isn't narrated by some long-haired, bell-bottom-wearing kook? The Varial Heel Flip. It is a trick that absolutely anybody can do, requiring only grace, dexterity, stamina, youth, perseverance, strength, courage, and talent. Varial heel flips were invented by skateboarding pioneer and founding member of the Z Dogbones Boys Town Brigade, Hamish Patterson, aka The Illusion. Hamish's legacy is evident in the trick's colloquial name, Illusion Flip. Before you start trying this trick, make sure your skateboard is turned on. The burial heel flip is a combination of two separate flat ground maneuvers, the air walk and the backside 360 no comply. It is by instructing one's body to perform these two completely different tricks at exactly the same time, which results in the series of interactions we call the varial heel flip. Foot position is critical. Place your back foot broadside, slightly nether of the armature. Your front foot should be in a cloverleaf formation, offsetting both the aris and prow respectively. Now inspect your board. Your board should spin in such a way that your nose becomes your tail and your rail becomes your rail. It is often said that skateboarding tricks defy gravity. This is the stupidest thing any individual can ever say. Skateboard tricks do not defy gravity, rather they work in perfect accordance with it. A varial heel flip which defied gravity would be a disaster. Spinning in the same direction for eternity, 
it would transform a cool-looking trick into a terrifying endless era in the fabric of space-time. As with all tricks, varial heel flips are subject to skateboarding's official grading method, the point system. As this trick is a form of subjective enjoyment, no points can be assigned to it. No points makes the varial heel, along with all other tricks in skateboarding, pointless. Congratulations! I can now land varial heel flips every single try. Last episode, I asked if anyone had a fitting name for this monstrous trick. And I got a ton of excellent suggestions, including Tyazan, Tyadactyl, and the Noose Stall. Unfortunately, my penchant for lowbrow innuendos won out in the end, and I am choosing Wood Meets Rubber as the official trick name. Thank you, Quarine Skies Blue Quarass, and everyone else who contributed. Well, that's it for episode two, and I gotta say I'm happy with the way the show is going so far. My only complaint is I don't like it when they shrink the video down into a little box. Because it makes my voice sound stupid, and I don't deserve to have my dignity taken away like this. They tell me that it's a glitch, but sometimes I swear the editor is doing it on purpose just to make fun of me. If that's the case, then they can have their fun. You can have your childish games, and as for me, I'll keep treating my fellow humans with the dignity and respect they deserve. Good night. <laughs>